is Matthew Fitz, and today I will be showing you a tutorial on how to make a Weebly website for free. So, first off, you're going to want to go to your search engine, in this case, Google, but you can also use Bing and Yahoo, and you're going to want to type in Weebly. Now, you're going to want to go directly to the website itself, where you will have the option to log in or sign up. Since if this is most likely your first time, you will want to sign up. You can use your Facebook, you can use Google, you can use your full name, whatever other email you're using, such as Yahoo, and whatever password you want to put in. Now, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Log in is very similar to signing up, just mine is having to put in your full name. Now, as you can see, I've already got a website set up, but I'll be showing you how to set up for yourself. So, I'm going to go and add a site. Now, this, this will be where you are first taken when you log in and sign up for the first time. Do you want to sell online? For now, we're just going to say no, but we can always change that later. Now, here we have the themes. Each of these themes will determine what your site actually looks like. And so, if you feel like you are limited by what you're being displayed, you can just view even more. How much fun can this be? Now, we have options of making it a business website, a portfolio, personal, event, blog, or other. Now, you want to go to blog, but most likely you'll be creating a portfolio, in which case, you know, we have the jellyfish. I want to be the jellyfish. Up. Now, I then look, I see, and I decide, I don't like the jellyfish man, I, I just, I don't like it. So I can close, I can keep looking for another one I like, such as Spellbinding Mythical Short Story. You know, I love mythical short stories. So we are going to just quickly look it over, see if we like it, and hit start editing. Now it's going to create our site, at which point then, it's going to ask you to select your domain name. It's going to give you options for .com, .weebly, or your own personal. For the sake of this, and to keep it free, we're going to use the .weebly version. If you want to use .com, be ready to pay. And we're just going to call our site Donut Shark 97 and as we can tell, it is completely usable for free. As I mentioned, these are the other domains you can use, but you have to pay for them. So, everything's set up, and now we come to the fun part, actually making our website. So, already you can see we have a logo, some page dividers, and other parts that we will go into further detail. For starters, we'll go off with the basics. We have over here the various pieces you can use to build your website. This is the sidebar. Then up here we have the navigator. Now the navigator is important because it allows you to go from build mode, which gives you this sidebar, to go to pages where you can actually adjust which of these show up, such as, you know, I don't like the press. You know, this is just, I want to get rid of it. So I can just delete the page and it is gone forever. Alternatively, I can also change it. So say, I don't want to be known as contact. I don't want it to be a contact page. I want it to be chicken. Yes, we'll call it the chicken page. So then, then change it over as you can see immediately. This is now the chicken page for contact. Now, we can go to theme, where we can go to home. Now, we can change the color of the theme slightly. I, you, there is a slight change to the shift of color, or you can even change the fonts you're using, total, such as for the site title, you can change it from Yellowtail, which is this Marcus Reed, and change it to something like uh, Oswald, like Oswald the Rabbit. There you go, direct change, change the size, change the style. It's all uppercase or normal. You can change the letter spacing. 
Didn't even change the color. Let's make it a nice shade. Uh, pink. That's hideous. No offense if you like pink, but that is a hideous color. We'll make it just this nice little purple. Now then, we will now move on to just the rest of this. The store is what you would do if you had selected to actually make a product. Generally, unless you're making a store or selling your services on the site, you will use this. You know, you can have orders set, coupons if you want to actually have that, but you'll have to pay. And even just a couple emails. Just basic if you want to have an online business. But we will not go into detail with that, as that's not the purpose here. If you want to see what about that, let me know. And I'll get started. Now, the App Center is very important. Here you can find almost every kind of app available. Some you have to pay for, others are for free. So, for example, if I wanted to have a poll, if I wanted to have a poll, so if I want to find a site that will allow me to have a poll, I can go into the search bar and just search up poll. Now, this gives me all these different options. I feel like I'm going to go with quick poll. No. So, give you a preview about what it is, and you know, it's going to ask you what you want. Very nice. And the best part is it's for free, for $3.99, but that means free trial. So, we are not going to go for that, because I do not feel like paying. Alright. So after the app, we have the settings. Now the settings, you can change the addresses. You can change the title, we're going to call this Ultimate Donut Shark Game. Save. We can change the category to, say, Portfolio. Again, save. Now the SSL is basically the security, it's to ensure that you get something back to your site. Favicon is this little W up here right next to the Weebly on the top. Now, you will upgrade and pay for it, as I just want to show you the payment page. You're going to pay for any of these. Every month, you will be able to have that Favicon be changed to whatever you want. Also set a site password. Also change up really anything you want, including the format. You can change what day, how the date is displayed. You can change the format to 12 hour, which is our normal, or military 24 hour. Time zone, you can change it to any. For example, uh, I feel like I want it to be set to. Copenhagen, yes, we will be in Sweden. Site language, we can change it to English, any number of these. No. Japanese, Italian, German, French. We'll just stick with vanilla. Now, cooking notifications, if we use cookies, that'll work. All of these are basics for setting up if you're going to have multiple people on the site, as well as all these different ones. Now, help, very easy. If you have any other questions, you can just go to here, or if you have an error term. So, with actually using these pieces, it's very easy, and to demonstrate, I'm going to create a new page. We're just going to have a standard. Let's call this one Otter Lord, because of a very important thing that will occur here. So, we have Otter Lord. We are going to edit. We are going to edit this background. We are going to change the image. We are going to replace it. Now, when you are looking for an image, you have a choice from using from your own computer. You can also, if you have done a previous search and have the URL, you can use that. Or, you can just search from the images. So I'm going to look up Otter 
we're going to go to free photos. Now, very nice, but all these buff men, we are going to go with this guy. Because clearly, of everyone that was there, this was the greatest. And we're going to save. Here we go. Hunter Lord. Now, this is a title box. You can make it bold, italicize, underline. So we have that. Now, for the sake of the picture, I am actually going to change the color of the font. Nice. sections. We can either use one of the ones they've already made, but for our sake, we are just going to build up our own. This is the fun part, it's building your own website. We could put in image, and in case we could do the same process, this time I'm going to look up donut. Three photos. Oh, uh, now I'm getting hungry. Now I'm getting very hungry for now. We're going to go with this one, this is a very nice deal. Now, we could also put in normal text as opposed to title, which is much smaller. And just go with uh, donuts are the most superior form of breakfast. Even better than waffles. There you go. Now then, we can put anything including a map, a photo gallery, and if you have a YouTube video, you can use this to actually get the URL and put it in. So, I'm just going to quickly open up YouTube here. And I'm going to go over to my main channel and let's get, let's just get this video, my uh, old logo. So I'm going to take the URL here, copy it, I'm going to paste it, and then when I click away, it's changed over to the video. Now, this also works for Vimeo. All you would have to do with Vimeo, though, is use embedded code. And you would just put in the HTML that shows up when you click to share. Now, if you ever want to remove one of these, all you have to do is select it and drag it away. Or rather, when you select it, you just hit the X and delete. Now, you can even use a divider to create a line here, if you like it. And finally, if we want to, we can put a survey. As you can see, we have a lot of options, but we can also edit the options. And call it survey, mouse me. All of these nice little things. And we can then go in here and we can delete what we want. So add in whatever we want. We're just going to edit this. And we're just going to say favorite. Waffles. 
And finally we have cereal without milk. Alright, get that done. Then also change the title to Dispute My Point. And save. And so with this just basically set up, you can then go and publish. Now when we publish, we'll need the domain name. I'm just gonna go with Donut Shark 97 as before. Available. So, 79. Yes, because even changing the slightest number can affect what it is. That's also a good way to increase web traffic as well by having your name close to a more commonly searched one. So that way, when people misspell it, because we know humans do that, they will instead stumble upon your site and be interested. So, the domain is set up complete. It's publishing. And now, if we click on this link, it'll take us directly there to our site. So you have a wide variety of what you're able to actually customize, so it, the only limit is your creativity. And to kind of demonstrate that, I will go directly to my more set up site and show you with just a little bit of time what you can create. Portfolio, edit site, just a little bit of effort, you get something like this. Given setting up Google Calendar, polls, and if you want to get something like this where the pages are bled into each other, Let's go to pages, and you can pull them in and out of each other as you desire. You can see, there's videos and some packages, it's pulled back out, it's so separate. And so, you can even use buttons to link yourself to other websites if you're working with someone else. I hope you've enjoyed. I'm Matthew Pitts, and this has been How to Make Your Own Weebly Website.